It was chaos after the crash, and the crew never really accepted me as captain. They rebelled and trapped us here. Once they started eating the toxic food, I couldn't control them. And I couldn't get to the beacon. Just stop. We know what you did to your crew. Why let this go ten years? Who the hell are you? Taylor. Lieutenant Jacob Taylor. Jacob? My Jacob? Wow, this dude, really? No recognition at all for his own son. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect 2. This is Hill, and we are here on board the CIC of the Normandy with Commander Sindarius Shepard. All right, we are about to embark on a loyalty mission for Jacob. Let's check out the galaxy map. All right, we are now in the Alpha Draconis system. And we've cleared it. It's at 100%. And we're about to arrive at the planet only known as 2175 Aia. All right, let's go. Anomaly detected. All right, we have detected an anomaly here. Let's go ahead and continue scanning. You know, I try to get all this scanning out of the way. Ooh, look at all this EZO. Alright. Alright, but yeah, we try to get all the scanning out of the way so that this won't interfere or prolong these missions any more than we have to. Or these, these recordings. Alright, so actually, let's read about 2175 AEA. Named after a sorry scientist, this remote planet appears to have been on the list of forbidden mass relays that led to uncharted space. The little data available comes from one far-off probe flyby that reports two planets orbiting a white dwarf star. Your own scans yield far more interesting results. The planet is within the habitable zone of the star. It has oceans of liquid water and a thin nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere consistent with carbon-based plant life. It is possible that this is a yet unexplored garden world. All right, let's get our landing party together. And as this is the loyalty mission for Jacob, he will be an a, obligatory member of the landing party. All right, as you can see, he's already uh, he's already selected. Um, and I'm going to bring Grunt. I don't know why I've just been thinking about Grunt lately. He hasn't really gotten a lot of uh, exposure in this playthrough. All right, let's go. Okay. Uh... I guess we'll hold off. We can't uh, really give him anything. Um, wow, so we're going to be going into this without any... Hmm. No ammo powers. All right. That's fine. All right, let's see what we've got. Does he have Claymore? Yes. Why? Okay, yeah, I want the Locust. Plasma shotgun, Carnifex hand cannon, we're ready. Let's go. So, this mission is called Jacob. The Gift of Greatness. Grunt, I'm gonna use you up close. Yeah. 
So let's get that claymore. That's right. All right, and you got your Geth shotgun. We're ready. There it is, and mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. And this is the Hugo Gernsback. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. You know, Jacob, I'm glad you're psychic and you know exactly what they were thinking and what they were going to do. All right, let's see. We have partial officer's log. Along with us anymore. We've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as it is. All right. This sounds like abuse to me. All right, what's over here? Some spare parts. Alert. Danger okay. of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible. All right, we'll deal with the uh, projection in a moment. I believe there's some stuff actually on board the Gurns back. Yeah, I think in previous episodes I've just I've passed this. Not previous episodes, but pre previous playthroughs years ago. Getting um, indications of rape, perhaps? EDA, uh oh, here we go with the hacking. Let's let's go. Goodness. Oh, I think I just missed it. Thousand credits, nice. All right, we some more logs. After a crash, you can't expect the luxury of due, due, due process, but this isn't a military ship. Just bumping the command line up a notch doesn't work. Cap Captain Fairchild knew this crew, crew, crew. His replacement doesn't command the same level of respect. I'm hoping the man has it in him. Hmm, so I take it that these recordings have degraded. That's why they're sounding so distorted. All right, here's another log. What? What was her name? Sarah? S Suzanne? My God, I can't remember. I can't remember her face. We need to get out so I can remember, c can think straight. They have to hurry. Hmm. This doesn't sound good at all. All right, I think we've got everything off the Gurn's back. So we will go over here and talk to this uh, holographic projection. Alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. Override. Beacon resumed. Pop From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Let's ask about the unsafe deceleration. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Investment, interesting. 
Let's ask about emergency command protocols. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. Let's ask about the beacon activation protocols. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Let's ask about local food and neural decay. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Okay, Grunt, Jacob, put that fruit down. Let's go. Come on, let's get going. Our father had a working beacon, but didn't signal for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. That long? He's got it. All right, let's go. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Let's ask about her name, and rank. Who are you? What was your rank on the Gernsback? Uh, I, I, I can't think. The leader thinks for us and, and we serve, so, so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were cast out. He exiled them, so they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Okay, he's put his paragon days behind Agents him. Agents of the liar! He will not escape! We've been fun. <laughs> Come on over! On it! Ah! Got it! I got it! At least move over there for now. Okay. Now, can you move up? Yeah. Okay, well that was not the best plan. Gotcha. wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. Alright, well, unfortunately this confirms one thing. That Grunt is not as tough as I thought he was. Okay, it's not good. It can't be my tank. But let's keep moving, people. Let's see, can we do a save? Yes. Stripped mech. Strip for parts. 
Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Jacob, who put you in charge? Tim, but from the same clan that attacked us. What causes the differences? Is this an earlier stage, or did the exile make the others violent? Is this a human female clan? Finally, something I understand. But why did the female on the beach say the hunters were exiled? It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... decay. You are cursed with his face. Hmm. <laughs> something you said, Jacob? You certainly seem to have a way with words. You heard her. I have his face. My father forced the crew to eat toxic food. What the hell? Well, that's certainly not a good sign. Let's talk to this survivor. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. Okay, how about you? He has a cruel face. His cruel face. Jacob, have you considered plastic surgery? Okay, food Look stores. At these food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. Wow, so they had food, but they ate the bad food. Alright, we've got some metagel now. Let's examine this statue. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. What is it? Worship of what? What the heck is this thing? Anyway, come on. Is there really such a thing as borderline worship? Wait, what? Oh. Jacob? Tactics like this are fit for prisoners, not your own clan. Well, that would make them hate him. Maybe it was just for defense. Alright, let's make sure we're not leaving anything behind. I think we've scouted the area. Spare parts, we missed these. Yeah, 1500 credits. Okay, well if there's anything else, I guess we're just gonna leave it. Okay, here's who is this person, this doctor. Please, here. You could end it. Okay. You have his face. Yes, we but know. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. We're waiting. Think on your own time. What's in there? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. Hmm, harsh but defendable. Not what I would have done. But they were in a desperate situation. How long do you stay desperate? The numbers go up from there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women. Assigned them to officers, like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Okay, Jacob, I think you need to calm down. Let's investigate. Let's ask about other officers. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? 
There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. Hmm. Let's ask about separating the women. Does it say why he separated the men and the women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. Let's talk about treating neural decay. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. They're fighting back now? It's looking like he only activated the beacon because the men have come back ready to fight. He let this happen, and now it's biting him in the ass. Nine years. Why didn't he set it right? I need to find this man. Okay, confront Taylor. Oh, and look at our renegade points, yes. Alright, let's, uh... An active mech, we're gonna set it to explode. Oh, and I have to hack it, don't you love it? You know, people would really be in trouble if they... did not have these necessary skills. See, look, I'm about to mess this up now. These necessary basic skills to match objects and patterns and shapes. Okay, let's get out of here. I mean, how would they get through this? All right, let's go. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. Thank God you're here. My crew went insane. I only just got free. God damn it. It's really him. The old dead are posed. A warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Okay, let's keep going. Uh-oh. Music is swelling up! Grunt. Jacob, pull. Jacob, thank you. Plenty of choices. Oh, there's more. Look out, people. Jacob, can we get a pull field? All right, good work. All right, I see some more up here. Pull. Impulsive shot. Okay. I think we're clear. Let's look for some spare parts or anything like that. Uh oh, there's more mechs. Oh, nice. Pull what's left. There we go. Oh, what now? Pull, Jacob. Impressive shot, Grunt. Singularity out. Impressive shot. 
coming. Singularity out. Get over here. All right, I think we got them. All right, what have we got here? Heavy pistol. Nice. Heavy pistol damage. Just what we need. Spare parts. Okay, 1,500 credits. All right, where is, uh, where's Grunt? Okay, there he is. All right, let me reclaim the singularity. There we go. Time for another save. Uh oh. Up front. Bull field, Jacob. I've got him. It's 1,500. Power cells. Nice. Guess we're full on those. What else? Did I see something else? Medical station. All right. Metagel. Finally, I think we've replaced all the Metagel that we'd lost. Let's uh, do another save right here. Hmm. Here they are. Jacob. Incoming combat drone! Shield the fail! Yeah, right on your ass! Hear it, there it is. It's an Emir mech. Let me see if I can use this uh, black storm. Enemy drone! through see if there's anything else here to collect yeah this in previous uh, playthroughs I can remember this battle being really really tough but uh, yeah I'm not I'm not ashamed to use heavy weapons now so <laughs> yeah 
But I don't know about the black storm. The, the, the verdict is still out on that because, I mean, it, it's sort of okay. But, you know, it, it's very situational where you aim it. Alright, I think we've got everything. Oh, here's a PDA. Oh, 2400 credits. Nice. Alright, let's go. Uh, guess we'll do another save. Anything else here to collect? Doesn't look like it. Alright, well, let's go and let Jacob and his father have a conversation. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Okay, first of all, this man doesn't look anything like Jacob, so... Gosh. <laughs> yeah, anyhow. Yeah. And he doesn't even recognize his own son. You know, this is not going to go well, I can tell you right now. Okay, so Shepard is going to say, never mind, explain yourself. Doesn't matter. You're running a very questionable setup here, Captain. Explain. Of course. Uh, it was chaos after the crash, and the crew never really accepted me as captain. They rebelled and trapped us here. Once they started eating the toxic food, I couldn't control them. And I couldn't get to the beacon. Just stop. We know what you did to your crew. Why let this go ten years? Who the hell are you? Taylor. Lieutenant Jacob Taylor. Jacob. My Jacob? Wow, this dude, really? No recognition at all for his own son. I don't know, people. Are you as outraged as I am? All right, surprised. Not who you expected, Captain? I was hoping not to have to explain this to him. Or anyone, really. You have to understand, this isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. Hmm. Touching, but I don't buy it. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. Okay, let's investigate. Let's ask about his son and time apart. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. Hmm. Let's ask about time and food reserves. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, 
I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. Let's ask about the other officers. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. Let's ask about the hunters. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. Tempting, but taken too far. Can't say this wouldn't be a hell of a vacation. But you don't get to just walk away after all this time. You're damn right it doesn't. What happened here, I should vent his head. But he's not even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are. Because you're not any father I remember. Hmm. Sorry, people. This is Renegade Shepard. I'd shoot him. I'm pretty sure we can spare the ammo. Yeah, you're right. But I'm not taking the shot. My father owned his mistakes. He was a different man. A good man. Half charged. You've seen the crazy ones. This won't stop them. It's not for them, Dad. Hmm. say after an ending like that all right so mission summary survivors from Aia are being treated by alliance personnel with additional cerberus support pleased to see taylor unharmed psychologically by experience jacob taylor has dealt with his father and is now focused solely on the mission here it is, people. Here it is. Jacob Power Unlocked. Barrier. <laughs> yes, this is why we did the mission. For Barrier. Creates a shield that soaks huge amounts of damage. Now, this is not, you know, like a, a huge, great power to have. I think it affects your cooldowns and all this kind of stuff. The reason for Barrier, I mean, you, you Mass Effect fans out there that have played this game know that it looks so cool in the cutscenes. That's the only reason to get it, for the cool factor. So yes, Barrier. Jacob's got a new outfit, and we've got heavy pistol damage. 30% heavy pistol damage, nice. And we got 500 element zero. All right, it's back to the Normandy. Alliance ships are inbound to pick up survivors, Commander. We can be long gone by the time they get here. Mm, we'd better be. They get as much as a glimpse, and you're restricted to decaf. Great, may as well serve it in the airlock, you hard ass. What do you mean it wasn't you? Oh, that's Jacob, right. If I had leaked the information about the Gurns back, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. It wasn't him. It was Miranda still toying with us really because given the result it feels like something you'd have your hands in 
You know very little about me, Shepard. Don't presume to understand my intentions. Cerberus is ultimately about humanity. My people are valuable to me. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Hmm. To help or to mess with him? Was this supposed to be a favor? Or did you just want to see him squirm? What he did with it was his own business. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Surprised about Miranda? You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Hmm. Well, you know, she's a perfect female. Of course she has a good memory. So are you all right? You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor's body has some catching up to do, but the man died a long time ago. I've already dealt with that. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. Hmm. All right, well, let's go. Come on. We've got work to do. Hi, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. <laughs> One time only. Let's not make a habit of it. All right, so we got Renegade points and Heavy Pistol damage. I'm going to go ahead and do this right now because I just don't think my pistol is powerful enough. All right, so... Oh, I thought it was going to tell me something else. But anyhow, so we got 30% more damage or... I don't know if, the, if it... Because it was at 20%, the last upgrade we got. So I think it just went from 20% to 30%, not 30% more than the 20%, if that makes any sense. All right, Kelly. Yeoman. I had a wonderful chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. Hmm. <laughs> She's okay. Um, I'll say I do too. Tally's a good friend. We've been through a lot together. My female intuition says she wants to be more than just good friends. Uh-oh. You're imagining things. That can't be right. Our relationship is completely platonic. It's in her body language. How she turns to you when you enter the room. How she watches your every move. Wow. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Oh, okay. I didn't realize all that. Um, how's the crew? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Morden would like to speak with you over in his tech lab. Grunt seems very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? That's it? Aren't you going to offer to feed my fish yet? I guess that's all. That'll be all. Yes, Commander. <laughs> all right, so... Commander, the... you've received a y new message yes. at your private terminal. Yes, yes, I know. All right, so the um, loyalty quests are going to now come fast and furious. So we need to also talk with Morden and Grunt. But we will do that in our next episode. This is Hill, and I'm out. <laughs>